Hello everybody. Today I would like to share with you my findings um, after testing for air leaks uh, BMW N52 engine. This is the uh, 2009 um, X3 BMW with 3 liter motor. So basically I looked all the hoses, visually inspected the vacuum lines, I even put the uh, throttle body gasket brand new, that didn't help. Then um, I checked in the process for the, um, let me grab my flashlight, I checked in the process for PCV valve vacuum leaks and that looked okay it held the vacuum perfectly fine the membrane inside is perfectly fine it seems and by the way this this valve cover has been replaced about a year ago so almost a year ago a brand new valve, valve cover with gaskets um, and then that PCV is part of it so I wasn't really expecting it to be bad at this time but you never know um, the valve cover was aftermarket I believe the part was uh, the, the company was Euro or something like that, and um, never know when you buy aftermarket parts. So it wasn't genuine because it was way too expensive to buy. Um, so basically, looking around, um, I've done as much as I could. Even the throttle here, the divider um, in the intake. I have taken apart, I looked for the, um, the flap, it's nice and solid, um, got no play in it, gasket looks perfectly fine, so I wouldn't want to drop, you know, um, I don't know how much they go these days, I think almost $300 or so. So I was hoping to find an air leak. And the only way to do that is you have to basically introduce in the process a smoke machine. I don't have a smoke machine, so I went ahead and built my own. And I will post links to a couple of videos that uh, go over that process. So it's not my invention. It's um, I'm not sure who came up with it, but it's a fantastic, fantastic um, uh, unit. It helps a lot. And the only difference between those online you're gonna find, and mine is I uh, put in the uh, uh, more like a, a, a airflow regulator valve that will allow me to control the uh, amount of smoke introduced into the motor. So what I did is I tapped into the vacuum line that goes um, and is positioned behind the throttle body facing the intake so there is a vacuum line um, I disconnected and I put this you know clear tubing that goes in and introduces the the, the smoke um, in the um, intake side behind uh, the throttle body and to do that you have to remove the throttle body remove its gasket and put a piece of cardboard uh, in between and then put the throttle body back otherwise the smoke would be coming right out of the throttle body or some of the smoke and that would probably confuse you in the process of looking for the leaks um, so basically I have built uh, a wall if you will between the the throttle body and the intake that way the, the smoke is concentrated on the intake side and it's basically uh, once introduced is gonna go all around inside the intake and basically also through vacuum line or through a line between that and the uh, uh, valve cover it will uh, travel into the valve cover and basically also you know go all around and then hopefully uh, if there is a leak it will show itself and um, as you will see um, in a second um, there is definitely a leak that was sucking in um, and that was actually a very unexpected spot that I totally oversaw therefore I decided to uh, put this video together for you to see uh, what else could be uh, besides the common uh, obvious places.
So we're gonna turn on the smoke machine now. Um, connect our power. Smoker is probably right now starting to work its magic. Through the line. You can see the line is nice and white. Over here we have a little bit of leak. That's where my connection yeah. is. Now on this side, as you come in, well, the centric valve is smoking pretty badly. So there you are, you have the centric valve, the centric valve smoking, and that's where the uh, leak is coming from. As the motor runs, it generates a vacuum. If there is a leak or a bad gasket, it will suck the unneeded air, which will cause uh, problems. We can disconnect, disconnect our uh, unit. And uh, there you go. Very nice. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I'm gonna replace gasket. I already had a gasket last time a year ago. I purchased gasket separately. Didn't know it comes with a valve uh, cover. And I should have probably put this one in, but I went with it. I figured, okay, here we go. You know, we have it comes with a gasket. Why? Um, Putting another one in is perfectly fine, but probably they went cheap on that particular one, and that's where the problem is. So should have probably uh, put trusted brand, uh, even though the valve cover came with the perfectly fine brand new gasket. All right, guys, the centric motor is out, as you can see. There it is. And you, you have to, by the way, remove the eccentric motor to get to the gasket. The gasket is held by uh, four um, fasteners. Two are going to the valve cover and the other two are going to the other side of the eccentric motor. Um, here is the gasket I removed. And after cleaning and inspecting, I realized, watch this, we got a crack. Both sides, by the way. So it's nice to have that smoke come out, it's really useful, but also it's nice to see, even better to see the actual root cause, right? So then I looked into, look at that, how bad. Now remember, um, this valve cover with all gaskets has been replaced about one year ago. And I checked at the uh, gasket brand and it's actually Molly right here look at that molly and that's the uh, oem supplier for gaskets and stuff bmw oem supplier very trusted and good quality part something else must have caused this to happen and i think it's actually um it that was me right so i was the person installing the valve cover last time uh, with gasket and all that and i think um it wasn't 100 uh, percent centered in a sense where, um, let me grab my screwdriver, where the uh, distance between the valve cover and this body is greater than what it should be. That's why what happens is the, 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 the gasket itself is mounted or fastened on these two bolts. And then as you put the eccentric motor, then it stretches further the second or inner part of the gasket. So once you introduce some heat and you know uh, eventually over a year or maybe five maybe ten maybe fifteen thousand miles it will exercise the gasket to the point where uh, it basically starts cracking and lesson learned next time you do one of these valve covers you um, uh, set your bolts i think okay but loose leave them loose all around the parameter and I'd say then you work on the eccentric motor, don't leave that for the end. 